Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So this video is definitely an oldie but a goodie on my channel because I've done quite a few iterations of it because I go on this trip so consistently. For the last four years of my job, twice a year I go to Toronto. For one of the trips, it's just an overnight trip so I tend to pack really, really concisely there. But for this trip, it is two nights and somehow that makes a little bit more of a difference. I just need more outfits and I often prefer to have a few more options as well. So I'm to show you all of my tricks in order to have a ton of options for clothing choices and have some room for shopping to spare because I might have a couple of hours to hit the Eaton Center, especially go to Ann Taylor. So let me show you everything that I'm packing for my two-day business trip. It's for training purposes, so I need to wear something that's quite comfortable. The purpose of the trip is to mingle a lot. We'll be changing locations a couple of times as well, but spending very little time outside. So even though Toronto is extremely snowy right now, I don't need to pack too much for the weather because we're just going to be in a conference center um, other than just packing some good boots that I don't mind getting some salt on and a warm coat. Um, but for the underlayers, I just want something warm, comfortable, and professional looking for all of my outfits. So let me show you what I packed. So before we get into all of the clothing items, I do want to quickly show you what I'm packing in my personal item. So when you carry on, and I always carry on for these trips, you get two items on Air Canada. One is your larger item and then the other one is your personal item but both of them have weight limits and size limits as well and the ones that I'm showing you do fit that so there's two choices for me really I can pack a handbag as my personal item which is what I do for the one night trips when I do that I usually pack a bigger handbag like my Mulberry satchel or my Celine um, luggage tote or something like that that's a little bit more sizable but when I want more suitcase room what I actually do is I pack a personal item that is a travel bag. So this one is from DVF. These are not, my suitcases are not available anymore because unfortunately that collaboration, which I think was with Macy's, I always got mine from Macy's, is over now. Um, but I'll link some similar sizes in the info bar down below as well as everything else that I mentioned. So in here I keep all of the contents that I would have in my handbag, travel things, my laptop, and the actual handbag that I'm going to pull out once I get there. So let me show you quickly what those things are. I've got my coach gloves. I never go anywhere cold without these. They're amazing because they have the touch fingers. Bose headphones, must have because they're noise canceling. If I want to do some work on the plane, super helpful. My agenda, of course. Then a lint roller, never go anywhere without this when you have a fur creature in your life. A small hairbrush from Mason Pearson that has a lot of hair on it. Gross, sorry. I've got my little Kindle. I've got my small pouch, which will go in my handbag. These are just cosmetic essentials, eye drops, things like that. The only thing I really want to show you in here is what I actually have on my lips today, and it's the 008 New Lip Glow. So it's kind of like a corally pink color, and I think it's perfect for traveling because it's super moisturizing. And I haven't really packed a ton of other lipsticks in there. There's also Charlotte Tilbury Bond Girl, and that's pretty much it. I try and be pretty minimal about lip products when I'm traveling. And then there's my handbag in its dust bag. So this is pretty much the most protective choice that you could make um, for your handbag because I find that going through security and so forth is really like an opportunity to really damage a handbag. So it's nice and protected in here in its Saint Laurent dust bag. And this is the YSL Collège bag. Well, well loved by me. I've had this for several years now. One of my favorite handbags. And it's a good choice for traveling as well because it's a medium size. If you had like a tablet or something like that that you wanted to take notes on at a conference, it would fit in this, but I am a hand note taker, so I won't be doing that. But um, yeah, it's a great bag and it's very light as well when it's empty. Um, surprisingly, so it's a good choice. And then what's really not smart is bringing my giant laptop. Here your pocket is empty now, and I just have a few items in the front pocket of the bag. I've got my phone, big surprise, my wallet, and a face powder. I always travel with the Kat Von D, because this has a little bit of coverage as well, so it's nice to touch up with when I land and, you know, I'm going to potentially be seeing colleagues and things like that. So yeah, this bag holds everything that I need in terms of personal items, electronics, my handbag, you know, 
all of those good things. And it's nice to have all of those easily accessible as well because this will be in the seat in front of me, whereas the other bag will go overhead because it's too big to fit in the, uh, underneath the seat in front of me. So it's much harder to access things in my rolly carry-on. Um, it has no front pockets. You really have to get in there. It can be very awkward in the airport. So I really prefer to have my laptop in the other bag to take it out for security and everything like that. It's just much, much faster. If you're in the lineup with your colleagues, you just want to be like smooth and efficient and that's my way of doing it. Off of the mannequin here are all of the main clothing items. So these are kind of what I'm going to design each outfit around. I would call the core items of each outfit. So when I land, I'll be there in time for dinner and I'm actually having dinner with a friend. I packed this frame shirt, which really doesn't wrinkle very much as at all. And I always pack some downy wrinkle release spray just in case. I always think of a silk shirt is a great choice for traveling because they're so thin and light that it's like you really packed nothing at all. If I were to pack one more item, I would probably pack this equipment shirt that I'm wearing actually. It's new, um, but I've noticed that it wrinkles a little bit more than this frame shirt, so I chose the frame shirt over it. Um, but both of them are really great, very comfortable, pretty choices. After that, I've got my bonus items. So let's say I didn't feel like wearing this or it turned out horribly wrinkly. This is my bonus item. It's also something that I could choose to wear to training or something like that if I needed an extra outfit. Excuse my naughty little kitten here, trying to destroy my brand new cashmere sweater. Then after that, I'm packing something new. It's always fun if I've bought something recently to bring it on a trip. This is a really simple choice for training on the second day. So this will be my full day outfit that I will actually likely travel home in as well. Um, so this is a 100% cashmere sweater from the Nordstrom Signature line. It is the most gorgeous lilac color. Very simple lines as well. Really pretty with a pearl necklace or a scarf to dress it up. It will work perfectly with the halogen trousers that I'm packing as well. And then for my first day, so the first day is always a little bit dressier because we actually have a formal dinner at the end of the day. I decided to pack a little black dress, always a very safe choice for business travel. This one is from Rebecca Taylor. It's the old version of it. I'll link the new version down below. It's very comfortable. I think the boucle is really classy and classic and it looks really nice with a cardigan as well. Um, so there are many ways that I could layer this dress. Let's say I was going on this trip for longer. I could actually probably wear it several times just by accessorizing it in different ways. So I'll show you what I'm bringing to go with it um, as well. And that's it for the main items of clothing, but then let me show you what I'm bringing around those items. Okay, so here's my rolly carry-on. You can see that it's a hard case, really traditional style with wheels, very important because then you don't need to carry it. And on this side, I've already rolled up and put my bulkier items. I've got my Rebecca Taylor dress. This is the bulkiest item I packed my cashmere sweater, and my Club Monaco shirt. On this side, I've got a brand new pair of tights. If I was going for longer, I would probably pack two pairs just in case. That would definitely be wiser probably, but since these are new, I'm gonna take a risk. And then on this side, I've got my underwear. This is my favorite bra. I'll link it down below from Notori. Very lightweight and comfortable, and also lightweight for your suitcase as well. I've got my frame silk shirt that I rolled up, and my flat iron as well, and some pajamas just underneath. Um, so then I'm just going to add this actually in here. These packing cases are great because they fit so much. Um, so on top, I'm going to add a couple more things. I've got my cardigan. This is from Neiman Marcus. This will look wonderful on top of my Rebecca Taylor dress. Black cardigan, this is for me to travel in. But again, if I wanted to go with a more neutral kind of color choice, I could also wear this on top of the Re Rebecca Taylor dress. It's from Theory. Then I have a freshly steamed Nouvelle Apparel scarf. I'm actually also going to add this to my brown bag that I showed you earlier so that I can wear it on the plane. So a lot of these things are not actually going in this bag, my mistake. Um, it's the Emerald Isle scarf. I still have a couple of these left at the time of filming. And I know a frequently asked question about my scarves is what do I do if they are stained or wrinkled? 
For wrinkling, I always, always steam them. Do not iron them. You just want to steam them and often just a half an hour in a steamy room, like while you're taking a shower, washing your hair or something like that, is enough to get the creases out. I chose the cashmere and silk blend specifically so that that would be possible. The other option is just to use a regular steamer, which is what I did. And then for stains, I actually always hand wash my scars. I'm legally required to say dry clean only because of the natural fibers. That obviously is a choice that you can make if that's what you prefer, but I always personally hand wash my scars just in the sink with a little bit of baby shampoo and then steam it once it's dry. And all I actually need to add are my halogen trousers, my favorite black trousers. They're also super, super compact. They do not ever wrinkle. You can tell by how carelessly I'm folding them that they really don't wrinkle at all. That Ponte fabric is amazing. And just close off this section. And within the bag at this point, we have everything that I need clothing-wise. And you can see I've still got quite a lot of room. So to this, all I need to add is my toiletry bag. So in here I've got, you know, essentials like toothbrush, um, face cream, face wash, those sorts of things, contact lens stuff. And I also always travel with a bottle of the Orbe Dry Texturizing Spray. I've been getting a lot of questions about my shorter hair and this is the only thing that I can't live without and I definitely add more to it than um, when my hair was longer just to give it a bit of a texture. Soft bags like these from Kopari are great. And then in the other one I've got my makeup and it's just all of my typical items, nothing exciting that you guys haven't been exposed to before my Clinique BB cream Charlotte Tilbury pillow talk liner of course um, Ford Coco Mirage very well loved and shabby looking by now and I try and really pack small items as well so for example I've got this really small Becca highlighter we discovered an old blush that I'm loving right now which is the hourglass diffused heat it's a pretty coral so when I'm tr like really tired from traveling I never sleep well with the jet lag as well um, then it's Nice to have that. So the smartest way to have the most room would be just to pack a pair of regular heels. Because I'm going to freezing cold Toronto, at least in my terms from Vancouver, that's how I think of it, I am going to bring my Aquatalia boots. Um, so these are tall boots, they are weatherproof, so they're really great and I always pack them in a shoe bag. Like I said, boots are not the smartest thing to pack because they're always very awkward, so you can see they don't even quite fit in my dust bag. That's my rolly carry-on and you can see I've still definitely got some room on this side and the big advantage of doing that brown bag instead of just a handbag is that that bag is actually half empty so I've got quite a lot of room in there in case I didn't want to buy anything and just to not have to really cram everything in when I'm packing to go home as well it's always a nice feeling not to have to sit on your suitcase because let me tell you I have done that many many times in my life. All packed up you can see the results of my hard work and then I've just got a few items here that I'm gonna wear for the trip. So for shoes, I mean just gonna wear some comfortable shoes. This is why I opted not to wear the boots even though again that would have saved some space as well because they are by far the bulkiest item in that bag. Uh, but for comfort I prefer to wear some loafers or ballet flats on the plane. They're also easier to take on and off at security so I'm gonna wear my Gucci loafers. They're probably like in the top three pairs of most comfortable shoes that I own. Like I said, I'll be wearing my Nouvelle Apparel green scarf. I actually got a new t-shirt recently from this line at Lululemon that I love. I do wear these to exercise, so they're a nice investment in that they are half gym wear, half um, kind of comfort wear as well for me. They're these v-neck t-shirts. They're called the Love t-shirts, and they come in so many beautiful colors. I also have a really gorgeous, like kind of pale lilac color as well. This one is a heathered gray, and just really, really simple. I like to keep my outfits fairly basic, and a nice pop of color scarf really helps to brighten the face, but other Otherwise, I don't know, I just, you know, I'm one step away from pajamas pretty much on the plane. If I needed to go straight to a work event, I would just probably change at the airport. Um, I really do enjoy being comfortable on the flight. So then I've got my Lululemon um, kind of legging style pants. They're not super tight. They're just kind of like a long black pant, yoga pants, of course. Look at this little girl. Aren't you being naughty eating mommy's bag? Everything's gonna have like little kitten tooth marks on it once I get to Toronto. I'll notice at that point probably. And then I've got a long black cardigan. Something just cozy, a light layer as well because I will be wearing my coat and yeah, 
it's just kind of easy. Um, the nice thing as well is by having a little bit of extra room, it does give you the option to pack your coat if you wanted to. Pretty simple, just favorite things to pack that I always reach for, a couple of outfits that are cozy, comfortable, and convertible. And so I will link everything that I mentioned in the info bar down below. If you like this video, then make sure you give it a like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next installment on style. Bye! What is it about cats and suitcases, huh? You want to come with, baby? Yeah? You want to come on mommy's trip? <laughs> oh, rage against the suitcase. You're going to watch so much hockey with daddy while I'm gone. And then I'll come back and we can watch Dynasty together again. Right, baby?